All right, so I think I kind of came down with a cold. I'm feeling better. I took some DayQuil. I think that's helping me. And I also just took like a fat nap. We'll see. I wasn't planning until running this evening anyways, and it's just a three mile recovery run. Cause like, it's just a cold, or at least I think. It's a dry cough, uh, a little bit of <laughs> nasal drainage. Nothing too extreme. I might just move my recovery run till Saturday. <laughs> So just in case you thought my last thumbnail was clickbaity, um, I ended up having a cold. Started coughing a lot Sunday evening. Felt awful Monday. I skipped my recovery run. Anyways, today's Tuesday. Getting out here doing my six miles. Gonna take Marcy on four, and then I'm moving my recovery run to Saturday. So I just got done with my Yasso 800s, did six of them. Goal was 330 pace, which is ends up being like 702 mile pace. And I think most of them I came in under seven minutes. My cold sucks today. I pounded like a full ghost before I came out, uh, took meds. Also got blood drawn for my yearly checkup. So a lot working against me today. Glad I got out here and did it though. All right, so I just got back from the gym. It's not the week that my training plan said I should start lifting weights. However, since I'm on Christmas break, I'm a teacher, so I just thought this would be a good time to start lifting weights. So today I went and I lifted really light, like I think I only squatted like 135 pounds. And then once I was done with my weight routine, I got on the treadmill because I was like, I'll just knock them both out right now, I might as well. Three miles took forever. I don't know how masochists can go do multiple mile runs on a treadmill. Cold wise, I feel better. Something else, showed up yesterday that I'm very excited about. I got my marathon shoes. I tried them on. They fit. This is the Fast R Nitro Elite 2. I, I just think they look so cool. Like this split design here. You can see the carbon plate through it. The carbon plate extends past the toe. It's super squishy. I mean, hey, look good, feel good, run good, right? Uh, I'll probably wear them for my tune-up 5K so I can actually get some racing in them. I just want to introduce it. I'm excited about it. I can't, I can't wait to throw down some mileage in these. I just got to Top Cell Island. I'm still pretty nasally. I've been very sneezy today. I'm very sore from lifting weights yesterday. I thought I, was, I wasn't gonna get very bad doms, but when I woke up this morning, very stiff through the hips and stuff. Anyways, I've been planning on running over and back this bridge all week, so this is my hill workout Friday. It's about three quarters of a mile long, so over it and back is a mile and a half, and I need to put six miles together today. So we're gonna try that. I already regret it. This hurts. At least the view's pretty coming back. All right, one down, three to go. Two down, two to go. I also think I just lied to a lady how many I did. All right, last one, four, four. All right, to finish out my run, I had to run down this little boardwalk thingy. Actually, kind of, kind of neat little park over here. <sighs> Worth the drive and the laps. All right, out on my recovery run to replace what I missed Monday. Anyway, so the cold is essentially just a runny nose at this point. These running gloves have been really nice. The thumb of them are like a towel material. After I do the farmer blow, I can clean up a little bit. I was playing around with the slow motion settings on my phone. I did notice something a little troublesome. My foot strike appears to be developing more into a heel strike. I've always considered myself more of a midfoot, uh, forefoot striker. Anyways, that was not an issue last spring and summer. That's when I was doing more barefoot style training. Maybe that's something I need to go back to in my training. Also, while I'm thinking about it, I've been a little down on my pace last couple couple of days. I mean, I really feel like I should be going faster than what I am. And like, I'd like to be pushing for a BQ at this marathon, but 
I guess. Just need to keep perspective and stay motivated regardless. Just overly competitive, I suppose. All right, Merry Christmas. I did not get around to filming yesterday because my wife filled my day full of Christmas activities as she is doing today. Yesterday was my long run. It was a 10 mile long run, two miles at tempo, which I was actually pretty excited about because it's the first time I've ever done a workout inside of my long run. Cold wise, I essentially over it. I know I've probably been updating you way too much this week. But yeah, and then also yesterday, I know on my recovery run, I mentioned how I was kind of getting disappointed because I want to run a BQ and I'm not quite there yet, obviously. I think that's the most brutal thing about running is like any other sport, you could go play pickup basketball at the park on Saturday, do well, be like, yeah, you know, I probably could have like walked on it like a small division one or something. You know, football is the same way, soccer, you know, all these different sports where it's kind of hard to quantify with the numbers versus running is very brutal in that, you know, you get a time. So if you run a marathon, that is your time. You can compare yourself to the pros and you can see how far off you are and you can compare yourself to others. And I think that's something that I really need to do a better job of is is focusing on me and where I'm at. Not to be too cliche, but you know, comparison really is the thief of joy. So I need to focus on me doing well, me getting better, which I am. But yeah, anyways, Merry Christmas. Uh, if you watch this far in the video, please consider subscribing. Consider dropping me a like, you know, a little bit of positive reinforcement goes a long ways. I uh, appreciate your time. Hopefully you had a wonderful holiday by the time that you're seeing this and uh, Merry Christmas.